Good morning, Jay Tedeschi here, Senior Technical Marketing Specialist at Autodesk, and today we're going to take a look at what we like to call flexible modeling. That is specifically the ability to utilize any one of a number of techniques simultaneously to modify your models. We're going to start off here by utilizing AnyCAD so that we can pull in a CATIA V5 assembly of an instrument package uh, for this Dynamic Structures uh, RoboCoaster. Uh, we're in the selective import portion here. So this is a, CATIA, a native CATIA V5 file and we are choosing to not import certain elements of that uh, assembly. Now keep in mind this is a live link out to the uh, CATIA assembly itself so if the author of this file ever changes it it automatically updates here in Inventor. Now as you can see this instrument package is uh, larger than the fairing cover that we have so we're going to utilize uh, some of the new freeform modeling techniques to manipulate and change very quickly um, the, the basically the surfaces which uh, comprise the, um, the fairing here. So we'll start by selecting a plane, selecting a center point and placing a planar freeform surface. Uh, this planar surface can be then subdivided into however many uh, panels that we deem necessary. Uh, this is this facilitates uh, more advanced manipulation of the surface. We'll start by uh, using match edge functionality in the freeform tools uh, to essentially take that these two edges of the new freeform planar surface that we've created and matching them to the curved edge of the surface that we're going to replace. Now once that's done, uh, we basically use some of the editing functionality itself, some of the patch modeling uh, form edit uh, capabilities, and along with that is what we refer to as soft modification. Now what soft modification allows you to do is set a pattern of uh, effectiveness. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm selecting a rectangle of points that when I start tugging at that edge that, we, that I pulled on, uh, it had a specific radius of effectiveness on the surface itself. Once the surface is created, I'll use replace face to get the new surface as part of my model. And we'll rotate it here so you can see that the new bulge that we've added so that our fairing now clears the instrument package. Now let's take a look at a couple of other changes we're going to make in the fairing itself. Uh, one is the diameter of the hole in the fairing for the robotic arm to rotate. And for that we'll just do a straight parametric change. So from 750 millimeters to 1200, 1050 millimeters. We'll hit update. It updates as long as, as well as the mirror uh, of this feature on the other side. We'll also again come in, do another parametric edit. This is the cutout in the fairing for the uh, trolley car itself. We'll go from 465 to 435 millimeters, increasing the size of that cut. So we've now looked at two different, very different modeling techniques on the same part. Parametric edit and freeform modeling. Now as you can see, the fairing interferes somewhat with the trolley car, and now we'll use one another technique. This is called direct editing. Now what direct editing lets me do is select faces, edges, etc. In this case, we're selecting these two faces, and we're going to move those faces up. So it, it respects the parametric, uh, the original parametric feature. Uh, the advantage of direct editing is that it's very quick, um, and we're able to do or perform edits that otherwise would not be possible or perhaps take a, a significantly more time. And with that, I want to thank you for your time and I look forward to speaking with you again soon.